Hi, I'm Kelly, and you'll see my son Kyle in just a few minutes. We make videos to bring awareness to special needs families and to help other families like ours not feel so alone. I also share um, the feelings, the challenges, and emotions I have being Kyle's mom on both my Instagram page and my website, and I link those below in the description box if you want to check them out. Kyle is 15 years old and has a genetic disorder called SYNGAP1, which I explain in more detail on another video in our channel. We just recently shared a video of our morning routine, so now we're going to show you what it looks like here when we do our bedtime routine. You won't see Kyle's dad in this video. Um, when he is here to help with bedtime on the weekends, we are a team when it comes to taking care of Kyle. But Monday through Friday, um, I'm on my own. So my husband works third shift. So at about the time that he's getting ready for work is the time I start um, getting Kyle ready for his bath. I am a morning person, which I explained in my other video. So when it comes to nighttime around here, I am a stickler on Kyle's bedtime. We get him ready for his bath between eight and 8 30 and by nine o'clock I am saying good night to him and that way I have about an hour and a half before I can't stay awake any longer and I use that time to either read or watch a show on Netflix or a little bit of both. These are what Kyle's feet look like without his braces on. His feet roll inward due to his hypotonia or low muscle tone. Without his braces, his knees and hips are not in the best alignment. Detour. You can do this too. What do you want to say? Mm. Good job. 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 You want cat in the hat yogurt. You want cat in the hat and you want to eat yogurt. All right, but first, bath time. All right, let's go do bath time. I always acknowledge what Kyle asks for on his speech device. Even if we can't give him what he wants at the time, a lot of frustration is usually diminished if we tell him we understand what he is asking for. We use a lot of first then language with him. Now with the yogurt though, he seems to ask for that all day long, even if he has just eaten the full meal. We always do his bath in the master bathroom because there is more space and a larger bathtub for him. He always enjoys bath time and the whole routine surrounding it. We have a stock of these adult size onesies, which are perfect for him at night to keep his diaper in place. So we get that. So every night I search for the book that we read and Kyle likes to every night and every morning stick his board books down the back of this bed. So I have to go hunting for the book that we read every night. So he always has quite a collection. And <laughs> this is the one 
that we read every night. Um, Silly Lullaby by Sandra Boynton. Kyle really likes Sandra Boynton. And we have read this book every, almost every single night for over a year now. So I don't know how that happened. I just read it to him one night. He really liked how we did it. And then the next night I gave him a choice. He chose this one. The next night I gave him a choice again. He chose this one. So now we just read it every single night. So it's pretty worn out. And um, now I have that ready for him. So we'll brush his teeth and read the book and go to bed. Ready? I'll brush your teeth. Four of you, grab onto it. Pull it back and forth. You like to chew on it. Don't you? <laughs> there you go. All right. All done. All right, Kyle. It's time for night night. You ready? On my count to three, we're all done. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> So like I explained in another video I did, um, we have his TV hooked up to a power strip back here that he can't operate, and so we turn the power strip off so that he can't turn his TV on at night. All right, Kyle, let's get your pillows. Where's your other pillow? Get your other pillow, bud. Are you tired? Let's get your other pillow. Come on. You're ready. Oh, you are sleepy. Let's climb up here. <laughs> Pat in the pillow. I think this, I think Pat in the pillow soothes him. He does this all the time. Come on, buddy, help me out. <laughs> You're doing your thing, aren't you? <laughs> Are you ready? Turn over. Here, turn over so mom can read with you. <laughs> you doesn't want me in here. Oh. <laughs> That's what he does to me. Oh, I got the holes in my jeans. Are those holes in Kaylee's jeans? Say uh, what's wrong with her jeans. Sit up. Sit up. Let mommy read to you. Come on. <laughs> Come on, buddy. I know Kaylee's usually not in here, is she? Yeah. Is that funny? <laughs> you gonna pat your pillow again? <laughs> I can tell he's tired. <laughs> All right. Hey, buddy. You ready to read your book? All right. Okay, what is it? Silly Lullaby by Sandra Boynton. Your pajamas are on. There's a duck on your head. I think that this means you are ready for bed. So stretch out your arms and give a big yawn. And now I will sing you a go to sleep song. Ready? Ready. Ready? 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 Hey! Go to sleep, sweet moon. <laughs> you do that on this page every time. It's time to say a juke. Huh? The chicken's in the bathtub, the closet full of sheep, sneakers in the freezer mm. are all drifting off to sleep. So. Go to sleep, my pseudo, my fiblity fitsy foo. Go to sleep, sweet noodle. The light, the air is whispering. Good night, I love you. Yeah. <laughs> so the last thing I do is I lock the door to his bedroom and check and double check that it is locked. I've mentioned before in another video that um, some parents get their kids safe beds that don't allow them to get out of their beds at night for safety. 
we just lock his door and make sure his room is safe so that he can't get out at night. So most individuals who have SYNGAP1 have sleep disturbances. And so for as long as we can remember, Kyle will wake up in the middle of the night, almost every single night. And um, sometimes he'll, he'll be up for a while. He will usually um, have a grand old time in his room and will be laughing and eventually will fall back asleep. But if his door was unlocked, he would be able to get out of, of his room and um, roam around the house while we're sleeping. So if for safety, we um, lock his door. So now I get to have some me time and I will go read my book and will probably fall asleep reading my book as I do almost every night. So good night and thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you.